What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Naruto, Sakura and Sasuke performing a um, summoning jutsu together. So it's three portraits. I've, div I've gone ahead and divided my page up into three equal sections. So you could do that as well quite easily. You just measure three even sort of boxes. And we have Sasuke here, Naruto here and Sakura here. And we're just going to start. Um, we'll start with Naruto in the middle, shall we not? So, let's start with his eyes. So we're just going to curve up and over, like so, and then spike it down the side here, right? And you want to thicken up this line, like so. Make it a quite heavy line. Like that, and then we have bottom eyelid coming up like so. Might be some thicker lines just here, and then his iris. So it's just like a kind of a circle just inside the eye, top of it cut off like so. And he's got kurma eyes, so we've got like one of those snake-like eyes, just kind of straight. And you can like thicken it up in the middle, maybe make it more round. Like that, so you want like, you know, cat-like sort of eye there. Right, so then his eyebrows, so it's just like a tick, so he's frowning pretty heavily, right? So like curves this way, goes right up by his eye, up underneath his headband. And you do the other side. It's thinner on the bottom and it gets wider up here. So you just want to stop it about there because it goes underneath his ninja headband. So the other eye then, just over here, you're about eye distance, so you want to measure whatever this eye is. And then you can fit another eye in between. And the next eye will start just about there. So like, say from here, from here to here, you, you should be able to fit that in here, okay? You want to be able to fit this inside here. You don't want to be too close, okay? Or too far away, because if you if you like two eyes over, you know, if you have a massive distance, it wouldn't be in proportion either. So try and fit an eye in there, eye distance apart. And then top eyelid line comes up and over, like so, again, and spike it down here. And then thicken it up. Like so. And then the bottom eyelid, just down here. Might be a bit thicker here. Like that. And the semicircle, you know, the circle just with kind of the top cut off of it because it goes underneath his eyelid, just there. Like so. And then the core of my eye, line straight down, and you just thicken up the middle. Like so. And then his other eyebrow. So it just like spikes, curves up right past his eyelid line there. Up and under. And then comes down the other side, real skinny, then down the bottom. Just into there. Extra frown line. Frown line kind of coming across his nose, just there. And then, so we might as well draw that headband line going right across his head. So it goes just across the eyebrows here, goes across his head, relatively straight, sort of line. Might bend a little bit at the end, curve up around this way then. Like this kind of thing. Then the other side will be about the same. Go up and around. Like so. Okay, so he's got some like sideburns here, okay? 
So like some pieces of hair, some spikes sticking down like so. You know, sometimes I've seen it one spike, sometimes I've seen it as a few, so it's up to you what way you want to do it. And then there's some more sort of frown lines on his nose, wrinkles just to show him scrunching up his nose because they're all these characters are summoning using the summoning jutsu, so they're biting their thumb. So his nose just here, nostrils just down there. And then just beside, so his mouth is like right here, okay? But he's, his thumb is over it. So we'll just draw, draw the thumb first. So all you gotta do really is do like, kind of a curve line up like so, down to there, okay? And then the other side of it will go this way. Down and around into his sleeve. Okay, just down there. So and then like a thumbnail, just there. Okay, and then his mouth will come come across here. And it's kind of open because he's like biting his teeth, so it kind of comes down like so. Kind of looks like he's smiling a bit. Maybe he comes out the other side of his thumb a little bit, just there. Maybe like a line for his mouth on that side. So then we can just see teeth just in here, right? So you gotta do some like sharp lines just coming across like so and then maybe like a shadow in here like so and then his chin would just be here coming around outside the thumb so then like you can check proportions now so like his nose is halfway between his eyes and his chin. So this distance is the same as this this distance. And then where his bottom lip would be, say like this, this is halfway between the chin and the nose. So from here to here, like his bottom lip. From nose to bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin, approximately, okay? So once you get that, then you can do his jaw. So it comes up the other side like so. And just like, across from his mouth and underneath the edge of his eye, you turn around his jaw and go up the other side of his head, just like so. And then you can do the same thing on the other side, bring it up and out to his hair, just there. And then we have those lines that are on his face. Those black lines, three of them, just coming down. One, two, and third one. And they're dark black. So like one here, there. And a third one there, and then they go in to the side of his face, curving down like so, and black inside. Okay, so his ears then, just here, curving around, just kind of in line with the eyebrow there. It comes down to his earlobe, just in there, and then you can do the bones and ligaments inside his ear that kind of stuff. Lots of different ways to do that, of course. No right way or wrong way, really. And then his other ear, we can just fit it in. Maybe it comes back out the other side there. Bones and ligament lines. Going down into there. And, right. Okay, so the rest of his hand, right? So we got like, his index finger is coming out this way. Take your time, my hands are tricky. Turning around the knuckle here. Down his finger. This is gonna come around the gap, come out the other side, like so, and we meet another knuckle here. This comes up and over. And then we go down again. 
come out up to another knuckle, which comes down there. So, and then the little finger, just here, little finger knuckle, just curves around the back of his hand, curves around here, and then goes down just off my page there. So this knuckle sticks up a fair bit, and then this goes down. And then Naruto has that black stuff on his hand, you know that, um, what would you call it? I don't know, the chakra sort of lines. So they kind of come down his hand over it here like this. That's all dark black inside. Like so, and then, so he's the line for just the sleeve just coming down past this, just there, and up about to there, and then it'll come down off the page this way, like so. And then, right, so his collar, so it comes out from behind his ear, just there, same on the other side. And then the front of it will like come up here and like go off that way. And then the front of the other one like wobble up this way in a similar way. And then he has those lines for his um, turtleneck sort of thing that he wears. So like, you know, these lines that come out and down around his neck. That kind of thing. And same on this side, we can see less of them. So just here and down. So, and maybe just in between the fingers there, like that kind of thing. And do we have something coming up the middle? Maybe we do. And then we've like a couple of hair spikes just coming down the back of his head. That kind of thing. Okay, so headband. So then we have the metal plate. So it's just like a curvy sort of rectangle. You know, the edges are kind of round. And then that goes across there, across here. Then we have the bolts, holding it on. And the spiral, ninja leaf. So I'll just do it as a single line. If you want to double up the line, you don't want to make it look like it's scratched in, you can do that. So it's just a spiral with the tail and then a beak. But if you want to double it up, you can make it look more accurate to the anime. And then we've hair. So hair spike here. And when he's in his sort of Kurama uh, Bijou sort of mode, he's got like massive hair spikes that come up. Like they can't fit in this box, obviously, but they go up and off the page there. A couple on this side as well, like so. A couple over here. They're kind of big sort of devil horns, you know, they go up real long. And like another one here, this comes down to there. Another one going off the page there. Maybe some spikes just coming in here. Maybe some behind the horn just there. Maybe something similar on this side, some hair spikes here. well and maybe something coming down like in here as well nothing major like so okay so we'll do that's Naruto done basically so we'll do Sasuke now so we'll start with the eyes again so top eyelid just over here curves up and over like so a lot of Sasuke's eyes are underneath his hair so we'll have some rubbing out to do and then the bottom, like so. You notice his eyes are kind of more slender than Naruto's. So you can thicken this up again. And 
and then the bottom eyelid. So we'll just go across and up like so. And some lines maybe underneath the eye here. And then in there we have the Sharingan. So curve it around like so. And then we have his pupil, so it's kind of like up underneath his eyelid here. So he's looking like up, up at us. And then sharing in, so we have two dots there, and then you just have to place the comma lines coming off them. So like there, and one there. And he could have like some dots, you know, around his eye, like that kind of thing. Then what you want to do is do his eyebrow, so it might be some like extra lines just here first. And then you do a tick for his eyebrow, so slender sort of dark eyebrows for Sasuke. So it goes up like so. You don't really need to do much more than that. And then you add an eyelid line coming off here. Maybe make it a little bit thicker at the bottom, but not too much. So, so once you are happy with that, you just got to measure his eye, make sure an eye can fit inside, and then curve up and over again. Like so. And then the bottom eyelid, so it kind of goes underneath hair here, so you don't see much. So the bottom eyelid is here. Like so. And then his, his iris, another one, semicircle, half circle, like that. And then his pupil, it's under hair, you can't even see it, but I'll put it in just so we have an idea, just there. And then Sharingan, so like one here, one here. And we do that comma again, so. Spiraling in, and you can add some of those lines coming around his eye. So you can thicken up his Eyelid line a bit if you want. If you want to finish his eye like the other side, you can. But it, we're going to be, it's going to disappear because we're going to be drawing hair, hair all over it anyway. So, and then his eyebrow ticks up and out the other side. There goes underneath his hair, so you can't really see much of what's in here, and it might be a bit thicker on this side as well. Kind of thing. Some lines here, and yeah, like like Naruto, kind of frown line just in on his nose, like that kind of stuff. And then his nostrils just down here. Like so. And we gotta do his thumb again, so like Naruto, thumb coming down around like so. Just there beside his nose, thumbnail, like that. And then his mouth, not as wide as Naruto's, comes across, comes down, like so. You might see a little bit of teeth, but not a lot, a tiny little bit. And then a line just for his gum. And his chin is underneath his hood, so you can't really see his chin. So this just like comes across here. Imagine that's his chin, it's about the same level. And then you can check proportions. So here to here is about the same as here to here. Eye to nose is about the same as nose to chin, but it, it, like his chin is just, his chin is probably down here a little bit lower than this. And his bottom lip is about halfway between, so where his bottom lip would be. Say, right, so say his bottom lips there, 
So from here to here is about the same as here to here. Okay, bottom lips halfway between the nose and the chin. So then his jaw comes up side. We stop there because we meet hair. And we do the same thing on the other side. Like that. So hair. So that sort of Uchiha hair. So we lines coming down, spikes, right? Spike in there. Spike comes down here. This goes behind his finger, so we gotta stop it there. But maybe he comes up this side, back down, back up there. Okay. So you don't want to bring that one to a spike to there. So he's got uh, lots of hair coming down over his eyes. So like so. Keep spiking. Lots like this. So, and this one comes right over his pupil, back up, and then this one comes down, back up, and then we go down the side, goes underneath his hood line just there, and then this one comes down. So we'll, fin we'll finish that sort of hood line on this side. So it just comes up, like say, side of his face just here. Curves around the back of his neck. So probably here somewhere. And then we have a hair spike in here. And then we can actually see his neck. So just a line for his neck there. And a line for his neck, like here somewhere. And then, so the top of his head would probably be like, so eyes to chin, say. So that would be the top of his skull, but remember, He's got hair growing out of his skull, so we got to go up like a little bit higher. So, eyes to chin, there, whatever that distance is, just add on a little bit more. So that's probably the top of his head. And then we're going to just curve it around. Like so. Something like that. And then, so we'll go down and we'll do his um, hand, right? So, side of his thumb comes down like so, okay? And it'll just disappear into his sleeve, just like, like this, like that. And then his finger will come out from his thumb. So we'll bring it across, up, and it'll turn around his knuckle, turn around this knuckle, it's different to Naruto's. Sasuke's and, and Sakura's hands are different to the Naruto hand. So this kind of curves around. Like so. Comes down this way. And then we have like a uh, nail, fingernail just there. You might have next finger then. Curve around here. Come up. Down for the knuckle. Bring it out and around here, comes down like so. And we can just see the side of the finger here, bent around, tip of the finger there. That's like a knuckle just here. Like there might be a knuckle line just there. And this comes down a bit further. And comes around, up, down. Bends around this knuckle again. This finger comes down line in here for the inside of the finger and then like here and then the little finger comes down again curves in and then this comes down the side of his hand just that way and they might have some knuckle lines on top here like so and that'll go in to his wrist somewhere here. 
and then the rest of his hood so comes across the page up into there and then hair spike in there and he's got some lines just on the front of his hood there like that okay so we're nearly there so sakura right so just here we're going to start with the her eyes as well and big eyes and sakura so up and over <coughs> excuse me all right and big eyelashes then so like big spiky eyelashes sticking off here two of them about two of them and then just thicken up the eyelid line a bit <coughs> excuse me Like that kind of thing. And then the bottom eyelid, similar to Naruto's, like so. And then her iris, curves around, and a pupil, right in the middle, like so. So very feminine eyes, big eyelashes. And right, so other eye, so measure the eye. You want to be able to fit it in between and then next eyelid comes up just there so just about I I just about eye distance in there it's tight and then coming up and down and then spiking eyelashes and just thicken up her eyelid line Like so, and then the bottom eyelid, crossing up, lines underneath, and then her pupil. Sorry, iris, <laughs> and pupil, just in there. And then her eyebrows, so um, ticks, like the others, coming up, pretty long, like so, and this side as well like that and she could have an eyelid line just over her eye there and then next one frowning heavily like so and then this side of it comes up and it gets a little bit skinnier at the end comes to a point and then she has frown lines on her nose just like the other two guys coming around her face there there then her nostrils, so just down here. They're about the same level as the others. Mm, yeah, okay. So, thumb, similar hand to Sasuke, okay? So, thumb comes down like so. And then we bring it down around. That thumbnail and then it goes out to the index finger out here curves around the bottom Kind of thing, fingernail. Like that, kind of. Okay, so her mouth just beside the thumb here. Like so. It's open like that might see some teeth lines just little dots coming across like so and then a line just at the thumb there 
and then her bottom lip, and then her chin. So, kind of a pointy chin on Sakura. So check your proportions now. So nose halfway between eyes and chin. Check. Bottom lip halfway between nose and chin. Check. And then we can move on. Up around the side of her face. Curve it up. To about there, because we meet her hair then that comes down the side of her face. You know, her long fringe comes all the way down. Like so. And then the jaw on the other side comes up to there. And then her long hair, bring it down real long. Comes down to a spike just here. We can't see the other spike really because there's more fingers down here. So yeah, so we keep that going. So up about here, we're gonna meet another hair spike. Comes down just over her eyebrow, back up around, up into here, into the front of her head. This is like her fringe, you know? Uh, similar thing here. Up around, into there. And there's some lines in underneath this for hair. And then like a hairline. Like that, and then she has that diamond in the middle of her forehead. Like so. And the rest of her hair. So, comes up, comes down, like so. Up, down, and then like her headband comes in behind. So like, comes in like around here somewhere. Behind her. her hair and same on this side comes up around like there so that's like the metal plate in here right so probably starts maybe how long would it be probably here maybe there and then there's like you know ninja village sort of the war sort of symbols just here so it's like Asian sort of lettering with like four dots underneath it there and then what else? Yeah, so then there's more lines on top. So like here. So it's hard to explain this part, but try and copy it if you if you want to put it in, you don't have to. You could put the leaf sort of village symbol in it either, you know. Something like that. I mean, it's not perfect. But... As well, it's kind of tilted and stuff, so it probably doesn't look like that most of the time. And then, like, the back of her hair goes up that way. And then on that side as well, it just goes up around the top of my page there. Like that kind of thing. Okay, so rest of her hand. So same, pretty much same as Sakura's, or Sasuke's. So comes down like so into her sleeve. So sleeve goes down like so. Off that way. And the rest of her fingers. Same thing again. So up. So down, curve it around, the finger, then goes down the side, like so, you know, you could have knuckle lines again, and, you know, that kind of stuff, there, there, and then next finger, up for the knuckle, down. <coughs> And then this comes down like so. It's beside. And then little finger. Down around the back. Like this. Folds. You know, skin for fingers. Little finger. Hand. Look at lines. Things like that. And 
So maybe hair spike comes down maybe to here somewhere and then goes back up. Then her neck, so just her neck just here. And then the collar of her uniform just comes here and then it'll go around the back. So, and then come out here, somewhere there. Same on the other side, neck comes out around to there. down this way and then we can see like that big ninja um, sort of armor or shoulder pad that, that goes around the back of their neck big one comes out that side maybe and maybe the lines that are on top of that just here okay so, of course you can thicken up some lines if you want. But, might be a line for the collar on the other side, this sort of ninja collar going up that way somewhere. Out around the back of her neck. Maybe here. Hey guys, I'm back. So I wanted to fix Sasuke's head. It was a bit, I think it was a bit low down. So I'm going to bring it up to about the same level as Sakura's head here. So just like starting this way and bring it right up to the top of my page. I just thought it was a bit, it looked a bit small for some reason. So just whatever way his head is. So just bringing it down. just like that so just a bit bigger I think it looks better so of course it'll be colored in black anyway so that kind of thing so does that look better yeah I think that's more so it's like it's much bigger than the half of the head so the eyes are way so it's like right up there right up to the top of the page it probably goes off the page even okay I'll leave it there bye